flag they raise to commemorate their dead, the few survivors of eight families gather to share what little they've found to eat. They sit where their homes once stood, an entire village of over 1,000 people wiped out by floodwaters. I lost my wife and two children. So many gone from here. Bodies are washing up on the other islands. I don't think I'll ever find them. Many of the bodies of those who were killed remain unclaimed in funeral homes. There are so many that funeral directors are turning away newfound corpses. There aren't enough coffins either, and relatives are helping out any way they can to get their dead buried properly. Just down the road, a crowded evacuation center. Over 40,000 homeless people now scattered in similar sites across northern Mindanao, waiting for food and counting on help. Nobody is expecting this. And uh, I think uh, personally we are not prepared for this. The city is not prepared for this. We are not prepared for this. Government officials here put much of the devastation down to rapid urbanization. They say the rivers overflowed because they were silted and couldn't handle the onslaught of rampaging waters that cascaded down denuded mountains and damaged watersheds. Now there isn't much clean water here at all. People have been gathering anywhere they can by pipes or deep wells to clean what's left of their belongings, hoping to wash away reminders of the storm. But it will take much more than just water to heal their wounds. Survivors here say they've just been taught how vulnerable life truly is when confronted by nature. Help us get much needed emergency supplies to the victims of this horrific disaster. Help the Children is an established organization with a long history of helping disaster victims. With a proven track record of effectively sending shipments of donated food, water, hygiene boxes, tents, clothing, and medicine, the donations received go towards the shipping of these essential supplies. So the more you give, the more shipments we can send.